Hello again, YouTube. It's Josh coming back at you. Hope y'all have had a good weekend. Mine's been good. It's been rainy today. I got up and finished getting some tomatoes tied up out in the garden. For it, all this rain set in. But, uh, anyway, it's been a while since I've seen you. Uh, tried to make a video about the middle of the week, and for whatever reason, it just wasn't wanting to upload. So, I thought I'd make a new video, same content, just different video. First, with the housekeeping. Got my Savinelli Church Warden. It's a 313, kind of a apple prince kind of shape. I think it kind of looks like a chunk of coal. I really like it. And I will uh, get to what I'm smoking here in a minute. Because on Tuesday of last week, I received a uh, received a package and I wanted to share with you the contents of said package I did a box opening video Wednesday but at this point since it's Sunday there's really no way that this is still a box open but without any further ado got some Captain Black Copper to try and it's actually very good I don't hate Captain Black I dislike the gold the Royals okay will not try the round taste I haven't had the dark. I like the white and the cherry's alright. But I wanted to try that copper and it's uh, it's got a like a butterscotch or kind of caramel taste to it. It's actually pretty good. And then uh, I let my wife pick some tobaccos because I couldn't make up my mind and uh, she helped me so I'm going to show those to you next one of them was uh, Peter Stokeby's 305 Cherry Bon Bon which actually is a very good cherry aromatic uh, it doesn't bite has a really good cherry flavor to it, not cough syrupy, not, you know, nothing like that. Next is uh, Lane Limited Black Raspberry, which is also very good. It, uh, got a very good raspberry taste to it. Then she picked this one. From McClellan Powell Mine. Nice little peach. Supposed to be peach, but uh, it's really good. Actually, it's like a peach and an apple and like mango kind of kind of flavor. Powell Mine's one that I will definitely order again. Uh, and you know if I can't find a place locally to get some Captain Black Copper I'd probably order that again too a couple of pouches it's just a good there's no bite to it whatsoever it's like Captain Black White no no bite it's just a good smoke to have when you're out working in the garden or something what else did she pick She also picked 
McBaron's Seven Seas Black, which is very good. This is uh, this is a very good just black Cavendish. It's Virginia black Cavendish. Now, I don't mean like Virginia and black Cavendish, but they use the Virginia to make their Cavendish. It's uh, got a dark fruity note to it, a dark note with some lighter fruity notes in it. Very, very good. I think that's it for what she picked. And then the rest of it's what I picked. So, I'll start with the only thing I reordered. Four ounces of 965. And then I got a couple of ounces of black and lemon from McClellan. That's a really good no bite all day kind of aromatic for me. I got a couple of ounces of McClellan's 2010 Classic Virginia, which is excellent. Some a couple of ounces of McClellan's 2015 Virginia and Perique Flake, also excellent. Going to order large amounts of those next time I get it. ordered a tin of Virginia number one to try it. Um, it's a little bitey, just like everybody says, but uh, I finally kind of got it to calm down with me. And uh, it's actually, I really like it. It's, it's not the best Virginia, but it's a good It's a good, uh, I want a sweet Virginia smoke. Because it's not citrusy, it's not really, it's a little hay-like, but like a really sweet hay. But just like it's got a sugary topping or something like that. And what I'm smoking, McClellan's Personal Reserve St. James Woods. Which, uh... Like I say, it's what I'm smoking right now. And it's really good. It's got a good healthy dose of Perique in it. Virginia's very tangy. It's a good mixture. I'm, I'm definitely going to order a larger tin next time I get it. And then what I believe is the last thing in this box to show off McBaron's Halberg Green. If you've never seen it, it comes in a very nice Top box. This is airtight when you get it. And the uh, the pouch aroma on that smells like juicy fruit. It tastes completely different, like a like mango mixed with green apple mixed with a little bit of. Like mandarin orange, it's it's a really crazy flavor, but no bite. It burns really well, smokes really cool, smokes really dry. No problems with it. Um, then I got some, got a couple. Of a hundred. Sorry, I'm down here digging from a church warden pipe cleaner. Got a couple of 
100 count bags of uh, pot cleaners. Then I got some. Apparently, I accidentally ordered the Bristle Church Warden cleaners, but. They'll work, I reckon. Yeah, they work pretty well. I always get the BJ Longs. But, uh. Pretty much just trying some new stuff and, uh. Just about everything I got, I'm, I'm going to order more of, uh, eventually. I may have to take some time with that Virginia number one to really find out if that's something I want to order again. But everything else other than that, uh, of course, like the Cherry Bond, Bond and the Black Raspberry, you know, they're good. Uh, they're really good aromatics. Uh, they just don't really like jump out and say hey you should smoke me all the time kind of like that uh, that halberd green and uh, the seven seas black and like I say even that captain black kind of kind of jumps out and says hey you know if you got something to do and you want a good smoke you should smoke me so, anyway, that's what my order consisted of. All of that came from pipes and cigars. And, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed finding out what I got. I hope none of you were too put off that it was mainly aromatics as much as I talk about how much I love my Virginias. But, uh, Anyway, guys, any questions or comments, just leave them below, and uh, I'll see y'all later.